agreeing on the recovery fund was a truly big achievement of the heads of state and government back in July. But now this big success is at risk because two governments only care about their own power and about staying in power. Because that's in the end what the veto of the Hungarian and Polish governments is all about. Blocking the recovery fund will be felt and shouldered by Hungarian and Polish citizens just as much as by any other European. What a cynical disregard of the needs of one's own citizens. The recovery fund is essential to overcome this crisis. The MFF is essential to set the EU on the path to a Green Deal transformation. And equally, the rule of law framework is essential to ensure these EU funds serve the needs and best interests of the European citizens. And dear Hungarian and Polish friends, your governments are gambling with your future. For too long, many governments may have not been maybe happy with uh, straying away from democracy in some member states, but they have never truly spoken out. And that time is over. At this summit, it is time for everyone to take a stance. Decisions are also needed at this, at this summit to ensure that the EU takes serious climate action. At the last summit, any decision on the 2030 climate targets was postponed. Now governments must act. The task is to preserve a livable planet in all of its biodiversity and the measures must live up to this target. With an extraordinary year coming to an end, we're also running out of time to find any agreement with the UK. This parliament needs time for scrutiny and for debating any possible agreement. And as Green Safer, we will not just sign off any deal. We will look very closely if this is an agreement that is of mutual benefit, that safeguards social and environmental standards, and that does not endanger the peace in Northern Ireland. And we will not hesitate to defend those rights and standards for the benefit of European citizens, but also, we believe, for the benefits of British citizens now and in the future if the UK decides to rejoin. Thank you very much.